Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's feature, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new theming feature that was released as part of the spring update for CRM 2015. So the ability to kind of rebrand or do some customizations to the way that the CRM application appears has been something that's been asked for a long time. And so for online customers as part of the 2015 spring update, they have actually released some theming capabilities. Now it doesn't necessarily let you change every piece of the application and start really tailoring information from there. But from a theming perspective and the ability to provide and add a logo, it does have some basic functionality that can serve to kind of get you started with kind of branding information a little bit. So let's just go ahead and take a look at how theming works. So it's in settings. So if I go to settings and customizations, you will then see an option for themes. And it's pretty straightforward when you go in there and you click on themes, it'll show you the current theme that is installed with your organization. And then obviously any themes that you have created on top of that. Now, if you want to create a new theme from scratch, you certainly can do that. Or one of the other options that you would have the capabilities to do is if I open the CRM default theme, they have a cloning functionality. And so I can go ahead and clone this theme and it's basically just going to take all the information that's in that theme and apply it into one, you know, make a copy of it, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this tip of the day theme. And now I can start modifying all of my information accordingly based upon what I want to do. Now, the one thing that you'll notice here is everything is kind of on the hexadecimal coloring system. So you do need to know the color codes for the colors that you want when you start to actually work through those. There isn't necessarily a visual editor at this point where you can just kind of click on a color and have it drop down and give you some coloring options from there. You do physically have to know the code of the color that you want to use based upon, you know, uh, what it is that you want to change. So you will have to do some manual supplying of those numbers, but once you know, once you have those in there, it will allow you to apply that information from there. Now, one of the neat things that you have in here is the capability to add a logo. And so the logo has to exist in CRM as a web resource, so it does need to be uploaded. Um, what I found has worked best is using logos or images that are that are basically 48 pixels high by no more than 64 pixels wide. That gives you kind of right the right amount of space that you'll need from an image perspective. So I already have one that's uploaded from a web resource. So I'll go ahead and pick that one. If I want to change the tooltip text that uh, when they hover over the logo, I can go ahead and do that. And then to change my colors, as I mentioned, it's just a matter of supplying the color code for the item that you want. So maybe in this case, just to really kind of make it stand out a little bit, I will change my coloring options here a little bit, just so you can kind of see how that works. And then just kind of keep, you know, whatever you want to do from a, from an application standpoint. So custom entities, what do you want the colors to be when you create new custom entities in the application? Now, one of the nice things about this is after you've got the information in here, now you can go ahead and you can preview the theme. And so what this is going to do is just kind of load the item into the application so you can see what it's going to look like as it is without actually pushing it out or publishing it out uh, from an application perspective. And so here I can go ahead and I can preview the theme. I can see that when I hover over it, it kind of shows me what it is so as far as the CRM tip of the day tool test. I can see that it fits right in there perfectly based upon the, the image size that I had picked. I can see that now my navigation bar is black based upon what I've selected. And then as I select on different areas, I can see that you know the, the coloring options are, are getting applied to the the, the different six sections or items that I've specified based upon what it is that we're doing. So there's my header color that is pulling in when I want to look at the header information. And so I can just kind of modify everything from a navigation element based upon what it is that I want to do. And then obviously with the coloring options that I have for individual link colors, I can modify those. Um, if I don't like the, the, the item or I want to exit the preview, I can go ahead and hit exit preview. 
once I'm ready to use this, now I can go ahead and af um, after everything's been saved, I can go ahead and publish the theme. And that's now going to make my theme active in my system. Um, so now if I were to go ahead and go back into the application itself, go back to my home, I now have my theme being applied and I can work with the different aspects of the application. So that concludes our overview of themes in Dynamic CRM. Please check back as we add more and more videos on some of the newer topics that are coming. And again, I want to just say for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, thanks for watching. Take care and have a good one.